After achieving fully maxed gear on my account, including all kits and mega rares, as well as maxing the account, it was time to finally put this 4,000 hour journey behind us and start a new one. One thing Old School RuneScape taught me is nothing worth having is given, but it also taught me to never stress about things that are out of your control. But it's okay to sweat a little bit. With that being said, welcome everybody to my Grandmaster series, No Zucks Given. I got a purple! Come on, we can do this, man, we can do this. Let's go, dude, it's done. You called me down here? What could you possibly want? Last week, I lost almost 10 million GP on you. Uh, and I'll take more where that came from. It's come to my attention that you've broken the rules of the series. You've been getting combat achievements without getting a drop. This must end. Okay, I can understand doing combat achievements on purpose, but what about ones like the speedrunners that just happen on their own? Or perfect kills? I can't control those. Enough! The rules are the rules. Plus, you set them, not me. I'm simply the mediator. Okay, so exactly what's gonna come out of this? Because if it happens, then... The rules are broken. I can't always control it. If you break these rules under any circumstances, I will be forced to remove one mon from your account and give it away. Each viewer is only eligible if they comment their RSN and their current grinds. And remember, no mon will be given away if you simply follow the rules. Good luck, mon. Duke Succulus and Vardorvis, two of the most opposite bosses in the game, but they come from the same content. If you're new to the series, allow me to fill you in. I'm going for the Grandmaster Combat achievements, but there's just one catch. I've drop locked myself to each boss that I have to kill, which means I cannot do the combat achievements for each boss until I get a drop, and I'm locked to that boss until the combat achievements are completely finished. If I break any of these rules or complete the boss in the wrong order, I owe one lucky viewer a bond. Alright, the first kill of the video, starting off with Duke Succulus at 491. This is easily one of my favorite bosses in the game, because it's easy to grind. And as for what you need for the boss, well, I'm in max, but you really don't need max to kill it. Alright, finishing up this kill wasn't too bad to be honest. Rune Knight, let's go, 514, 515. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Dude, come on, bro. Nah, bro. I'm over it. I'm over it. Back and better than ever. Let's go. What? I see. I'm gonna try to go for the speed run. I don't necessarily want to get it here, but I want to see, kind of like, kind of gauge what it's like. I, s I heard that you can use these uh, Muska powders on him like individually just like i'm doing and i want to see if i can just get close to the speed run time i think it's 120 120 or 115 i'm honestly not too sure uh this, this is the most annoying part to be honest i just want to see if it's like even doable even achievable really uh, and go from there nice bgs spec hit and we're off good scythe hits too so this the, the scythe is looking decent we just need the site to keep hitting. That's a good one. That's a big one. Wait, we might be pacing for the time. The eyeball attack. Nice. Step back. Oh my god, big sight swings too. They're actually huge. We just need one more. This is it. It's done. 
Wait, did I just get it? Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, well, uh, looks like I owe someone a bond. <laughs> you know what? Make it two bonds. I'm gonna go for mirror image. So all I need to do for this one is to attack on the same tick that he attacks me. So it shouldn't be that bad. Let's see. No, I'm, I'm a tick late. Uh, I was a tick late, so I failed it. Fuck. Okay, round two. We got this. It's uh, can't be that hard, right? We have to prep every time we do this, so it is kind of annoying, I will say. All right, here it goes. No! Bruh. Okay, surely third time's the charm, right? Third time's the charm. Nope, never mind. Alright, listen here, motherfucker, bro. I ain't gonna play around, bro. Now I'm invested. Now you got me pissed off, bro. Now I'm gonna get it, okay? Now I'm gonna get it right here. I'm gonna get it right here. Okay, we actually had it. Okay, good start, good start. Never mind. Fifth time is the charm. We are getting close. Please. Okay, hit. Oh, wait, I didn't hit. No! Bruh. Okay, this time I'm bringing claws because the faster we kill it, the faster I don't have to worry about it. Wait a tick. All right, go. Nice. First claw was huge, too. Go again. Nice. Scythe it. No! Wait. Ah. No. All right, round two with the claws. You're all mine, motherfucker. Wait a tick. Go. Nice. Huge hit, too. No, wait! Bru what am I doing? I'm actually trolling. Patience is the key with this combat achievement. Just wait. Attack now. How did I fail it? I'm holding true to what I said earlier. Patience is key. We're at 20%. We're in the enraged. Ah, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Post editing mouse here, and I meant to yellow click here. Tell me how this is a right click. How? No! I, dude, I. Dude, I didn't mean to fucking red click. Oh my god, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? That was a perfect kill, bro. Alright, I'm gonna get it once and for all. I didn't expect this to be so hard. Okay, so here's the thing. I brought claws for the speedy kills. I brought a scythe and I brought an arc light switch for when the enrage phase comes so I can stay on tick. Similar to that of like Awaken Duke when you have to stay on tick for the walking. Okay, we're in cycle, so we should be good here. We just gotta stay in cycle. The eyeball attack. I think I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, good. Nice. We're in cycle again. And gas, but we're not gonna attack. Take our time. Let it attack. Nice. And in cycle. Nice. Beautiful. Eyeball attack. Right, we just gotta take our time here, honestly. Okay, wait. Arc light, go. It's done. Nice. Nice mirror image. Holy, yo, arc light smacked there, bro. What the fuck? No, stop, bro. I already have. I already made a soul reaper axe. No, bro. No, bro. What is this? What is this? What is? What is this? Well, that counts. I mean, that counts as a drop. That counts as a drop. Not every boss needs to be a unique. We just need to get something on the log. That is the rules of the series, ladies and gentlemen. That counts, and that means that Duke Succulus is done let's fucking go dude with duke succulus out of the way it was time to take on vardorvis and let me tell you some of vardorvis's combat achievements are annoying let me explain because of the axes that you encounter in a vardorvis fight and the constant barraging of his head attack as well as the chip damage that is inevitable it makes for some of the most uncomfortable kills Oh, 
come on. Post editing mouse here, and I just wanted to say that to kills like this, the Onyx Bolts, those are the juicers, man. There's no audio for this clip, uh, but yeah, I'm, so, I'm also not going to show you guys every single kill, but just the ones that are important. I will get this kill. Holy shit, dude. Like, dude, I just got fucking fucked in the butthole, bro. I wanted to try the Amulet of Rancor on this kill, a new amulet that came to the game recently, and it didn't really help at all, to be honest. I thought it would, but it didn't. A tuna and potato drop. This is a big one because, I mean, more more kills. More kills on a trip. It's actually nice, though. Um, I just hate when I keep getting them, like, back to back. Oh, these things are going up. 936k for this thing. Oh, dude, this boss is money, man. Like, this, this boss is freaking money, man. I am not picking that up, bro. <laughs> One hard blue scroll on the ground. Oh, we got a casket. Let's see. Absolute dog shit. The onyx bolt. I mean, come on. What? They were getting rich. The first awakener's orb. Let's go, baby. Oh, shit. 57 seconds. Kill count 275. 57 seconds. 290 kill count. Bro, that is the fucking worst drop I've ever gotten in this video game, bro. Oh, that was kill count 300. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. Blood courts. Yes, sir. It's a unique. Let's go. I, I'm going to go check the, the rarity of this just to make sure it's a worthy unique for the video. Okay, so it says the drop rate of the blood quartz, if the player has not yet received one, scales from 1 to 200 to 1 in 50 as the player's kill count increases, where the best rate is reached at 300 kill count. So, once players obtain their first blood quartz, the drop rate is reverted back to 1 in 200. So... <clears throat> if you take a median, it's basically 1 in 100. But... If we're counting the rate after my 300 kill count, it's a 1 in 50 but it took 300 to get one okay so based on what i saw on the wiki and the drop tables i'm gonna count this as a unique because all of the other uniques are like one in 1000 and i already have vertus pieces anyways um so i'm gonna count this as a unique it did take what was the kc on that 304 kill count to get so i think that counts um now i'm gonna start with the combat achievements and we'll see what we can do Okay, so this is our setup. We're gonna try it with this. We're gonna try it with this. Um, yeah, I think I. Th I mean, the whip is like 900k. The legs are 900k. That's 1.8. We're like pretty much right up, right up on the line with it. Um, and if I don't get it with this, maybe I'll just try with like dragon legs. And we'll go from there. If you're curious what combat achievement we're doing, we're doing the one where you have to kill Vodorvis in two mil worth of gear or less. Ooh, like, bro, like, what is the RNG I'm getting right now, bro? Come on, bro. Nah, bro. I'm getting my revenge this time. This time, I brought the fucking rune plate legs. Fuck the obsidian legs, bro. Rune plate legs. 
and I'm gonna get my fucking revenge. Wait, what? Well, why don't I get it? Oh, it's the defender, isn't it? Alright, listen up, dude. Once and fucking for all, okay? This combat achievement should not take this fucking long, okay? It's the easiest one, okay? I banked the whip, okay? I banked the defender, okay? Ruined plate legs, okay? Literally rags. Literal. And just to be safe, just to be safe, I'm gonna fucking bank this, okay? Wow, dude, you're you're dumb. I'm gonna bank this, okay? And I'm gonna bank this, okay? And this, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna raw dog it. And this, just in case, like just in case that value is up, and I'm gonna raw dog it. I'm gonna raw dog it. If I don't get it, I'm yeah, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. <sighs> Give me it. That's what I fucking thought, pussy. Easiest fucking kill of my life. Fucking idiot. Next one is... Perfect Vardorvis. Kill Vardorvis perfectly five times. <laughs> Without leaving. Alright, I am opting for the... Full Torva Scythe Bellator, pretty much Maximus, minus Soul Reaper Axe. And then I'm opting for the Brew Session, because I need to be able to last for five kills. So, I think that we should be good to go. We just have to play perfectly. Good luck me. Alright, first kill down. Perfect kill. That is a perfect kill. We need four more of those in this trip. So I checked the wiki. They don't have to be back to back. They just have to be in this trip. So we need four more of those in this trip. Okay, that's another perfect kill. I'm gonna run out of I'm gonna run out of prayer. I mean I can try. That's two out of five, and I need three more perfect I mean I can try, but I'm gonna run out of prayer for sure. Come on. That should be it. Let's go, perfect Vardorvis. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> it's done. <sighs> that one, okay. That one, it, it wasn't that it was tough. It was just a little nerve wracking. Cause like, you know, <laughs> there's only so many times we can fucking kill this boss in one trip, bro. Whew, we were running that. We're getting low on the prayer pots there. I'm not going to lie. All right. I think I'm going to try... Bordorbus speedrunner next. Kill Bordorbus in less than 55 seconds without a Slayer task. I think I want to try the Soul Reaper Axe for this one and see uh, see how it goes. Because I got a 57 with the sight. So <laughs> Soul Reaper Axe is the best in slot. So let me try that. Man, this shit is rough with the Axe, man. This shit is so fucking rough. Okay, that was a one minute, four second. I think we can get this if we just keep trying. Like, I was just trying to finish the kill the whole fucking time, and it just fucking, bro, that could have been it, bro. They wasted, like, 25 seconds on just trying to finish the fucking kill. Like, this fucking axe is actual, is actual dog shit, bro. Like, I don't even know why I bought this thing, bro. It's actual dog shit. Nah, bro, this thing doesn't fucking hit, dude. I'm better off buying a fucking ZCB, bro. Shit's dog shit. Alright, this is the setup, bro. This is what we're using. I'm gonna spec it with this fucking ZCB. And then we're gonna chop her with the scythe. And we're just gonna do that until we get the task. It's gonna take a while. But, uh, I'm stubborn. So I'll be here all day if I need to. And another thing, another thing is I brought the Guthix Rests. Because for anyone who doesn't know, I can continue attacking with Guts Express and heal at the same time. Each sip is 4 to 5 HP. And there's 4 sips per, so that's 20 HP per Guts Express. You just have to be, you know, on it and keep clicking them if you want to heal. It doesn't take away attack times and it doesn't lower your stats, so it's perfect for speedrunning.
I forgot bolts. Okay, I promise we're good to go now. We're gonna spec it, right? We got the spec gear. <laughs> and then we're gonna get into the kill. We got the switch. Actually, wait. I'm gonna start by scything it. And then we're gonna spec it because I don't wanna spec it on the first hit. I don't know if I'll be able to land anything on the first hit unless it does reg, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I was hitting too, bro. Damn it. Post editing mouse here, and the problem with Vardorbis speedruns, or any speedrun for that matter, is the amount of resetting you have to do. And I promise I did a lot here. At this point, I started to go for the natural ruby into the spec ruby uh, because I figured if I'm going to be here for a while, I might as well secure the kill when it happens. I got the ruby, let's go! Please, spec? I got the spec too! Dude, this could be it. This could be it. That's so sad, because I got two specs. I got the natural and the spec. That's so sad, actually. That's it. Has to be. Let's fucking go, bro. Oh, let's go, bro. Woo! Yes, see. Let's fucking go. Can't wait to see that in the next video. Let's fucking go. Last combat task that I have. Let's check it out. The Axe Enthusiast. Kill Vordorvis after surviving for three minutes of Vordorvis's max speed and never leaving the center 25 tiles. I saved what I believe to be the hardest one for last. Oh, Sarah Dumman, have mercy on my soul. Alright, this is what I'm gonna speculate the setup. This is what I'm going to speculate this setup to be. The typical, you know, bar killing setup or whatever. Except this time, I'm just going to stay in the middle. I, I don't know. Never done it. Never done this, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to see what happens.
Let's fucking go. That didn't last long at all. <clears throat> okay, so I checked the combat achievements, and it says to survive for three minutes in basically Vardorvis's enraged phase. So I don't have to dodge the axe per se. And seeing as how the axes don't do a lot, a lot of damage, I think I'm just gonna try to drink all these brews before I leave the arena and just stand in one spot. Let's see if that works. Yeah, apparently I left the, uh, the inner 25 tiles, so I guess I failed. Bruh. Oh, this is challenging. I think I just gotta stay, like, stay still just, like, in one spot. Like... I'm gonna throw my fucking mouse across the fucking room. It's actually such a dumb fucking combat task. Hey, pretty much just wanna fucking kill yourself for three minutes. Yeah. Dude, I literally had it right there. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking freak the fuck out, bro. Ugh! Bro, it's driving me insane, bro. I don't wanna do it no more, bro. Fucking hell, bro, like, thank you, bro. Shit's so dumb, bro. That shit is so dumb, bro. I fucking hate that shit, bro. Like, ugh. I'll be honest, though, all I had to do was set a timer, and then, like, we were good. Because I, I didn't know, like, how long I had to do it, so I set a timer in the background, and we fucking got it. Well, that is all the combat achievements for Duke and Vardorvis. I'm honestly not sure which boss to do next. I hope you guys enjoyed the grind, and I'm super glad that I could make a little bit longer of a video this time around. I think that's what I'll do, is uh, just kind of compile all of the grind to get the initial drop into a really short segment, and then I'll make the majority of the video the CAs. Um, it's just gonna take some trial and error. I've never done a series like this and I'm just very thankful that you're all here and you know sticking around for the, the content with that being said that is it for the video. Thank you all for being here My name is Mousy and before I go just want to give a quick shout out to the channel members Maddie Jets and ultimate gaming you guys know who you are you're the goats and if you yourself want to support the channel further than a subscription feel free to hit the join button down below ladies and gentlemen once again my name is Mousy and thank you so much for tuning into this episode of No Zucks Given. Where the road takes us for episode 5, you'll just have to find out. Good night everybody, and take care. <laughs>